Hi, Superspruce here, back on the Realm Grander video, episode 74, and it's been like a couple hours since last episode, and I can get, well, first of all, 225 excavations. That gives me a 67% chance to get this artifact, which is really good, and then even if I don't get it, I can just try for an X reincarnation, and, I'm, and I'll try to, um, I'm also going to try to get a secret trophy vanishment. So first I'm going to get this, let's see if I can get the artifact. Three, two, one, bam. Uh, of course not. Missed a 67% chance. But, okay, whatever. I can still abdicate here and go for the secret trophy. So, this secret trophy has to do with, um, has to do with offline production. So, I think I need to be undead. So, evil, undead. And, I'm not even sure it's bloodline I'm gonna want. If there's anything that's, like, offline, uh, no, that's, the undead bloodline is not offline stuff. I don't really know what I should do. Maybe just elf line for faction coins. I'm, I'm really not sure. I'm probably just going to do elf line for faction coins. So, also generates clicks offline. So, I'm just going to do elf line. I think that's at least okay. And the research is I'm just going to pick offline stuff. And the reason why I waited a couple hours to do this is because of Sun Force. I usually, like, here, now it is the well it's still a production of all buildings but very soon it's going to be the offline production thing i'm also going to be draw here that'll that'll help things further and maybe if i cast some tech collections i can get yeah enough faction coins to be able to get all the heritages so here we go and has undead uh, has this changed yet no it's not i checked the time it was 159 and that may not seem like it's close but That'll be 559 according to this thing. So, it, yeah, it's very close. And here I'm gonna go for researches that are that give offline production. Usually I do not do this, but it's just for the secret trophy. So, for example, A55, which I, n I never get. That's offline production. I know D400. Yeah, that's also a lot of offline production. I already got it right here. That was easy and you can see now it's giving offline production that was a lot easier than i thought i thought i'd to try to get everything reaching offline production of at least one e15 percent and let's see what its upgrade even is the upgrade is e151 coins it's increased the production of all buildings based on offline production it's probably that seems pretty weak but at least i can still get that so what i'm going to do now i'm going to reincarnate and this reincarnation will unlock the final two challenges Dwarf Challenge 5 and Dro Challenge 5. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back like a few hours later, and you can see I have E123 gems, and it is time to try these new challenges. So, the new challenges here are, um, for, for example, actually, no, they're, they're right here. There's the Dwarf Challenge, which is literally just have 3250 excavations, which is something I already do try to get these artifacts and then this one here is have at least two hours offline in this game and have 300 at least 360 charges of combo strike so it is a time wall challenge the worst type of challenge i don't know i don't know why they even exist but i'll i'll do it anyway because that's this is like these are these are the last challenges i have so i'll i'll, I'll do them here so, um, I, I have to have some combo, okay, charges of combo strike. So, this means I, essentially I'm just going to do a normal draw run, except that, except I'm just going to go offline for a couple hours, which is dumb, and it, that means I don't get my combo strike. So, it's like essentially two time walls in one. Imagine that, a challenge which has two in one, two time walls, yay. But anyway, I'm just going to load this, the draw one research build, and I, I, I can technically use the flame, but it's, I'm, I'm not even going to. I'm, j I'm just doing it for the sake of the challenge, instead of to actually try to push, like, gems with this build. Because the, the, the Dwary one is just so much better. So, uh, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, it's been a few hours, and finally I have just, I, I have finally beat this challenge. And let's see, 
here it is. The reward is a fraction of your alignment spell bonus is applied passively. So that means Blood Frenzy bonus to evil buildings, 62.5%. Uh, okay, interesting. And then here is versatile combo. Increase combo strike counter based on the amount of spells cast in this game, not including tax collection. Also, increase offline spells cast amount multiplicatively based on your offline mana regen. This is why I have 812 combo strikes, and let's see, this is gonna, it's 813. I thought I was gonna go up by two. Also, I forgot to mention, I got some researches, or at least got some, I think there's this one 500 research that I just got, yeah, 3250 excavations, and also I think I got this one, and I have no idea, it's 520. Also, I, I did get the flame, so that's why I have more researches than usual. I'm still not really close to this one, or that one, or this one. I have no idea what this one is. There's no good deeds for a while, at least. I'm, I'm going to focus on this next reincarnation. I'm also going to buy all here just to see what is available. So, 545 is increased production of buildings based on mana produced this game, depending on tiers. Gives better bonuses for lower tiers. There's no reward, which I don't like, but it looks like it could be a very powerful upgrade. And this one is increased mana regen based on the amount of trophies you've unlocked. That's very weak. And this one, also, okay, I have gone to max, good. So here, this is just a multiplicative increased mana regen. So this one, it's actually 700 trophies, and I have exactly 700 trophies. So yeah, that's interesting. And then the last one, it doesn't look like I can actually get it yet. It's an advanced research that probably requires one of the researches I don't have. So anyway, it's time to reincarnate. Also, look at the amount of gems I can get. I can get E128 gems. That's from E123. So I can still use this build to push. But I think it's time to go to the last challenge, which is the, the dwarf challenge. And to be, I'll be good. And then I think fairy and then just do like, like it's just a completely normal run. I'm, I'm not even sure why like this is all uh, special because the thing is that the requirement for this challenge is just 20, 3250 excavations, which I already would get to try to get the artifacts. So I'm just going to, yeah, I'll, I'll load the template of Dewary research build probably only takes like two rounds now. Okay. It'll take three or whatever. Okay, it'll take more than three. I, I would have thought that I would have taken less. Maybe it's probably because I don't have these heritages yet. Yeah, it's probably, yeah, it's because I don't have the heritages. Now I can actually purchase all the researches here. And then it's just, it's just going to be super easy to get all the way to 3250 excavations. Because all I have to do is just this. like, And then the, I guess I can just manually cast them like this. And that should give me enough coins to easily reach 3250 excavations. And there is the last challenge completed. So the reward of this is all buildings count 20% more. So that could be good for like buildings researches. And this is increased diamond pickaxe duration by 8 seconds. And it's bonus to faction coin chances passively applied as a multiplier excavations faction coin rewards. Interesting. I can probably get some more buildings. I'm also going to try to go for you know, the artifact here, which I'm not exactly sure how many I can get. I should be able to get quite a bit, though, and that should give me a decent chance to to get this artifact. It looks like I can get 210 of these, which is going to give me, let, let's see, it's about a 65% chance to get the artifact. So actually I can get 211, but it's still about the same chance. So let's see, let's see if I can get it. Three, two, one, go. There we go. 65% chance. Hit it. And this means it, I have the Horn of the Kings. It is said when this horn is blown, the voices of past Dwarven Kings can be heard in the wind. And this gives me, it's probably the same thing, yeah. Provide di two additional upgrade slots for the Craftsmanship branch, and then one additional for the affinity of your base faction. So, it's interesting. Two Craftsmanship researches. I'm not even sure which ones I would, I would choose. Like, I'm gonna... I don't think I'm even gonna gonna do it here because next reincarnation is like when I'm I'm gonna get all these researches. So that's honestly about it. So I'm I'm gonna reincarnate here. I'm gonna 
trying to get some more researches. I have, I can't believe it. I have all the challenges completed. I'm, I'm surprised there's no trophy for it. It's like, why didn't I get the, like, I know there's, like, why didn't I get the prestige challenger trophy? If it's probably just complete all the prestige challenges. Maybe, maybe there's some post ascension stuff that I, I, I haven't got yet. So yeah, I'm just going to reincarnate. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.